Hi guys, Miss Lynn is back. <laughs> Miss Lynn is back. I'm doing better. I have been out a few weeks because I hadn't been feeling well, but I am feeling better now. So anyway, we're going to get started with my Dollar Tree haul. Um, we're going to start off with Miss Lynn thought that was really, really, really unique. Um, that she wanted to add to her baskets. I was not able to get a price off of them, but I didn't want to stop and not show you guys. And I thought it would be a good deal. So if you're at your local Dollar Tree, you can look for it if you do like what I share with you guys. I have no problem with that. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to start off with the Volcano Stone. The Volcano Stone is for people that has really, really oily skin. It's to help dry your skin up. You just take it and roll it across your head, up under your eyes, in those areas. And also, do, it's small enough. It's a little travel size that you can put in your purse. So when you're out and about or at an interview or at a job somewhere that's very important, and you kind of break that little oil out and just rub it across your head, and it helps dry it up. And all you have to do is just wash it with a little soap and water and let it air dry, and it's back at good again. So anyway, I thought this was cute. I was not able to find a price on this, but I did see ones that out there like this and they're kind of costly but you can't beat this for a dollar 25 why not try it out and see if, if if you do have oily skin so i bought a few for my baskets because um you know some people out there do have extra oil in their skin and they you know they may want to purchase a basket like this and i have to think of what else i can put with it but i thought it was a good idea just i just only purchased a few okay moving right along to the next thing um this uh was a barber saw brush I've been purchasing a lot of that brand name lately, and I thought when I seen the brush, I said, you know what, Miss Lynn can make a complete set for you guys out there that's doing maintenance on, on your beards, and I think I have um, the scissors and the comb. I got all kind of stuff with this brand name, Barbersaw. So I thought that getting the brush we can add to the collection, and it's really, really nice. And it's cute, and it'd be something, even if I don't put it up together now, it could be something if I decide to do father, a Father's Day basket. It'll be nice because we got a lot of guys out there that do have beards now and does have hair on their head. So with that said, that that's what these brushes will be for. So I thought it would be cute, so I did purchase them all. <laughs> Like I do everything else when I see a good deal. So I did. And I'm very excited that I did because it it, it makes my whole set. When I do put it together, it's going to look like a complete set. And I thought it would be unique. Because sometimes when Father's Day come around, you don't see... Um, you don't see a lot for the father. So as I see things like that, I do try to gather and add it to my collection. So when Father's Day come, if I decide to do a basket or even if I do like a personal basket for someone, I already have the products already here in my inventory. <laughs> All right. Another thing I had seen and I, I thought this was unique is a lipstick, um, a lipstick case with a matching uh, mask. I thought these were cute. They're $1.25 a piece. Um, be cute for Mother's Day or either Valentine's Day. You can add them into your baskets. I thought they would be different. You know, if, if you want to get them now and put them into Christmas, it'll still be a great idea for the holidays. I just thought it was unique. And Miss Lynn collect them all. <laughs> That's what she does. Also, too, I ran across these little makeup brushes. It's called MHB. It's Must Have Beauty. And I thought they were really, really cute. They look like really nice brushes. Even if they not, they look kind of on the high end. So I thought they would be really nice to add to my beauty baskets. And um, use them for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, uh, my birthday, or, you know, I just because basket or something. I am planning on doing um, for Mother's Day um, beauty baskets. So that would be good to add to that. Also, too, I ran across these little shot glasses. You know, they had them at Dollar Tree. They're like little neon colors. Um, they come 30 in a pack for $1.25. You know, the holidays are coming up. A lot of people be doing drinking and making little shot glasses of tequila or whatever. <laughs> whatever they drinking, but that's what it is. Some some some, some crown or whatever. But um, that's what these glasses could be for. It could be for something else, you know, jello glasses or something. I don't know, but um, I thought they were neat. You get 30 of them for $1.25. And um I'm actually creating a basket, a personal basket for someone, and um, I'll be adding this to their basket. But I just thought it was really, really, really nice. Um, so I'm sharing with you what Ms. Lynn will be using in some of her baskets. Also, too, was was a very good deal. 
um, these. I ran across these palettes. These are eyeshadow palettes. Um, they're different ones for um, from Dollar Tree. They were $1.25. This one here is Summer. You can see that. You can't beat that for $1.25, Summer. And this is exactly, this is actually exactly what it looks like in the bag. It look, uh, when you open it up in the bag, the way it looks, that's just the way it looks inside. Also too, um, this one is called Spring. Um, it looks exactly like this and I'm going to open it up so you can see it. That's your Spring. And then you have this one, it's called the Desert Rose. This is your bronze one. I thought it was unique. It comes in a little case and a little cover to go on it, and that's your different bronze. I guess you can mix with your bronze color. It's just different, 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 different. And I couldn't beat it, I couldn't turn it down. Did I clear the shelves? Not really, because I didn't know much about the brand, but I got quite a few, you best believe I did. <laughs> but I did this one here, I like this one. This is one of my favorites, um, the summer one. No, this is a spring one. I'm sorry. This is the spring one. And it comes with the mirror inside. I thought that was very, very cool. It comes with the mirror. And then there you go. I thought this was very, very unique. So, and also the summer is the same way. So, when you buy beauty baskets you got to be careful because you don't want anybody breaking out or anything like that so you really 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 have to uh be mindful on the product so i didn't do much research on it so i just bought a few to add to my beauty baskets and we'll see how that turned out all right let's compare the prices i know that's what you guys have been waiting for i really really miss you guys i just had to throw that in there <laughs> I really, really miss you guys. I hope everybody's having a great holiday. Thanksgiving went well. And here we are getting ready to get to Christmas. And before you know it, 2024, what Miss Lynn been talking about for the last six months is coming. <laughs> and I'm getting excited. I have been doing baskets. I've been a little slow for the last two weeks, but I'm still in the process of making baskets, trying to get my quote. Haven't really, really set a quote, maybe 100, 150 baskets, somewhere around there for Valentine's. So, but I'm super excited. So we'll see how it go. All right, let's get started here on Amazon. We're going to talk about Amazon with Dollar Tree. This right here is a um is an oven bags. It comes with four in the bags, four bags in a pack. Um, you can actually get this from Amazon. This bag, this same pack for $4.99. And at Dollar Tree, $1.25. You can't beat that at all. Also, too, this is called um, the, the Natural um, Haven. This is this is some noodles. This is for someone that has um, vegan, gluten-free, um, keto, um, on a keto diet or something like that. It's supposed to be low carbs. It's only two net carbs per serving. Um, I don't know how many servings come in here. Uh, let's come 2.5 servings, almost three servings, two and a half servings. That comes in here. So you can eat the whole pack for what, five grams of carbs. So basically five grams of net carbs. Um, it's 70 calories. Um, you can all do a lot with this. People that has um, gluten problems, you can do a lot with it. You can add some red sauce, some garlic butter sauce, anything to that. I think it will be a really, really good thing for someone that has that issue or someone that's doing keto. This will be a very, very good meal to try, you know, some noodles. Because sometimes when you have um, you have problems with gluten or something like that, you can't eat the regular noodles like normal people. So they have to be very careful because they, they, they're gluten tolerant. They can't tolerate gluten. So they have to have gluten-free stuff. So this is one of the things that it'll be like a little treat for them. So I just thought I'm going to share for you or anyone you know that um, cannot have gluten stuff. This will be good to add to the, um, you know, as a Christmas gift, you know, because on Amazon, on Amazon, this one box just like this, same ounce is $7.98. So you definitely, 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 if you have that problem, you may want to try it out at your nearest Dollar Tree for $1.25. Okay, moving along, you know, it's getting hot. 
um, here in Florida, but you know where you at and maybe cold and you know, we have our cold days here too as well, but um, everybody's getting into the soup season and um, during the holidays and getting into different types of mixes and stuff. I came up with the onion by Continental Chef, which is a good brand. You can go to Amazon and you get this same little dip here for um, three packs in a box for $9.99. You can get this and only pay $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So if you see this out, it's a um, the rate is on this, the reviews on it is pretty high. So um, you may want to try it. It's an onion and soup and dip mix. You can add it to your, um, your soups. Okay, let's move on to the next thing that, um, that we're going to talk about is this little sassy chick pot here. Um, you actually um, can get this at Dollar Tree. I'm sure you done seen these around, but on Amazon, they're $4. They're good for your pedicure baskets, um, pedicure manicure baskets. They'll be good for them. Um, Ms. Lynn going to be adding them into hers because I got quite a few of um, my previous. I think I showed you some of my moisturizer kits that I got for your feet. Well, it'd be nice to add with that. So I decided that I was going to purchase them, and that's what I did. <laughs> Okay, also too, they also too have this sassy and chick toenail clipper. I thought this was nice too. I thought they were really cute that you can add to your baskets. These are actually $5.78 on Amazon and you can get it for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So I just want to share that with you guys. I thought that would be really, really, really um, different, you know, for you guys. So I hope this is helpful to someone that's out there and they're looking for something a little bit more valuable than just going to say, hey, that came from Dollar Tree. So anyway, no offense to nobody, but I just had to say that. Um, then we're gonna move to Walmart. We got a few things I got from Walmart, not much, but I must share this. Um, first thing I seen at Dollar Tree the other day was this ice chap. They have these at um, actually at Walmart. You only get two in a pack and without the third one for seven dollars and I think it's seven dollars and twenty nine cent for only two. But you can get them at Dollar Tree three for a dollar twenty five. It's a lip balm. You know, it's that time of year. Your lips get all chapped up and cracked. These would be nice to add to your um, I guess your um, holiday baskets for um Christmas, you know, if anybody's doing any self-care baskets or something like that, I thought that would be nice. Also, too, for those ones that's working out, or you pull a muscle, this is kind of ultra strength in here. Um, this is a um, pain relief balm. I was surprised because actually um, this brand here, uh, Walmart carries it. And I was really, really surprised. They carry the same amount ounce, which is five point, excuse me. 0 0.63 ounce <laughs> at dollar 25 at dollar tree but at walmart it's eight dollars and 67 cent so that's a big big difference and um the reviews on it was they were okay um but it's not bad to try from um dollar tree it expired on um january of 2026 and um it's for those pull muscles uh, i guess it takes the place of almost like um, Tiger Bond, something like that. It's like a little screw top or something like that. When you put it on, put it on. I haven't opened it up to see it, but I just thought that was a good deal. Um, also, too, I ran across these right here. I'm sure if you've been to local Dollar Tree recently, these are Revlon Barbie. They're little, little file sticks, um, fingernail file sticks. These are $1.29. <laughs> I can't believe these. The price of these at Walmart is $6.95 for these right here. And they're the, actually the, the Be Unique ones. And they're the limited edition. Um, they're Revlon and Barbie. I think these are like extra large or something like that. I don't see it on here, but I, for some reason I thought they were. But I thought this would be cool to share with you guys because that's a big difference for if you're doing like a nail uh, beauty basket or whatever, you may want to add that in there. It has a little value to it and just, I got it from Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, one more thing I'm going to share with you guys here is called the cutting edge for blackhead and ingrown hair. For you guys out there, and it comes with a little a uh, little case that comes with it, you will not believe. This is $1.25 at Dollar Tree. You will not believe how much this would be. 
at Walmart. I seen the price for it. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, is this for real? <laughs> $19.99. <laughs> $19.99. <laughs> That's what I said. And um, it has a, a spoon in it, a needle, a hook, a lancer, and a eye hook. So I guess if you're really getting in there trying to get that black head out, you're going to get it out with this kid. <laughs> All right, guys. I really enjoyed you guys. I hope you enjoyed my haul. So you guys know what time it is. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. I am Miss Lynn. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to make a baby girl baby basket. Yes, I said it, a baby girl baby basket. And um, before we get started with that, I would like to share with you a couple shopper hauls that I have done since my last video. Um, I think you guys should know. You know Miss Lynn been talking for a few months about Valentine 2024. And it's finally, things are starting to come out and I'm super excited. I'm starting to see hearts in the store and little heart, little um, different items. And I'm, every time I see something, I try to buy it. So um, today I, I kind of got quite a bit, but I'm going to show you a little bit of it. And maybe you can get some ideas too when you're out shopping to let you know that these stores have them. But first of all, before we get Woo! started, Bath & Body has a $4.95 sale that's going on with all body care which is your lotion your shower gel and your spray bottles you can get that boat all that what fifteen dollars <laughs> what read at 15 well 17 dollars under 20 bucks you can get all that under 20 bucks which is a good deal for add to your baskets because a lot of people in my area was asking for a bath and body works and um victoria's secret for um for my baskets when i was selling for father's day and believe it or not <laughs> they were asking for that because there's a lot of mothers out there that are fathers so i'm sure for valentine's day it's going to be asked to as well so i did purchase quite a bit of that and i was excited i want to share with you guys what i did get that was kind of new to me um there and i just i, I think i need to share <laughs> I think I need to share. I try to stick with the Valentine colors. Um, a few of them wasn't um, the red or either the pink, but um, I tried to get as much as close as Valentine as possible. And if not, I got this white color, which is called Pure Wonders. It smells really good. I got the um, the shower gel, and I also got the uh, body um, body um, cream. And I thought it was a good buy. Hey. 10 bucks under you know red at 10 bucks for both of these and then i could put them and put them in my high end baskets maybe with a robe a pair of slippers or um, with a nice candle yes i did get the candle sale that was nine was it 9.99 or 9.95 or something i did get the candle sale last week they have that every year annual sale right after thanksgiving i tried to get that so i did double dip and got back and got all those candles as much as i could get and then also two as well as the body care um also too they have the um this is new to me you are the one i thought this would be nice too to go into your baskets for valentine's day really really nice it smells really good and i think this is called Lurim luminous so this was um this is actually the body cream and the body wash kind of gives you the high end look i like about it you can do uh maybe a burgundy and a gold basket or you could just throw it in the basket with a nice rope set. I just thought I must show you, share with you with those. I got some pinks, you know, just some common colors like, um, I think it was um, pink um, champagne, champagne toast, and uh, a thousand. Um, oh, I, <laughs> I, I, I just can't remember all the smells that I did get, but um, it was called a thousand. Thousand Wishes, yes, I got that. Um, champagne Toast, A Thousand Wishes. Um, also, too, I had got um, uh, Lovely lovely Dreamer. Um, I thought that smelled pretty good. I can probably go with a purple basket, maybe something with a baby blue or pink as well. You can do a lot with it. It smells good. I got the body wash to go with it as well. 
And yes, I did. I got the thousand wishes. I got a few more other things, but I just wanted to share the new things that was new on the market to me. I had never seen and they smell super good. Um, another one I wanted to get is strawberry pound cake. They were actually out of that. Um, they had the shower gel, but they didn't have any of the, um, the body lotion. They had the spray, but I prefer getting the body lotion and the, um, the shower gel versus the spray. Um, that's just my preference for this year. And I wanted to do something, um, a little bit. I feel like if you use the gel and use the lotion, even the spray, all of it work, all of it. You can buy all three of them and still get it for a good deal because one, actually, to be honest with you, one is what, $16.95. So you can get all three of them today for that price or a little bit more, not that much more. So it's a really good deal going on. Enough of Bath and Body Works. Um, I'm going to show you some stuff that I had got. I went to um, Burlington. They had these real, real cute robes. You won't believe the price. It was $12.99 for these robes. And I thought they were super cute because they have hearts on them. And it's something that you can use for Valentine's Day. They come in small, medium, large. I think it was like small and medium and then uh, medium, large, and then large and extra large. I didn't see any 2Xs or anything like that there. But I just thought these were cute. can add them to my baskets as well. Also, too, with Burlington, they have these little things like this. I know after Christmas, all these um, gift sets are going to be half off, but Miss Lynn is trying to stay on the ball because, like I said, I do work another job, so I have to kind of get my stuff going and prepared if I'm trying to get so many baskets out there for the 2024 year of Valentine's. Um, also, too, I've seen this. This was the same price. was $5.99. This is um, strawberry pound cake. I haven't smelled this, but it came in a nice box. It would be pretty with a really nice pink robe or either a white robe or um, something with some bling bling on it. <laughs> but I thought this would be cute to add to a basket as well. We could also keep it in a box to make it look more upscale. Um, also, too, they had this. It's Ellen, it's Ellen Tracy Bath Essential Set. It has a mask and um body cream scrub and a lotion uh, not a lotion but um but yeah body cream sorry and this came too so i figured with this i probably just take this out the box and just use this as a display maybe with um you can put it by itself with a loafer or you can also um put it with um uh, maybe with a nice robe or maybe a cream robe or or something like that or maybe a gray robe or something to kind of bring it up and make it more of a profit. I thought it was neat. This was actually $6.99 from Burlington. Um, I bought quite a few of these. Also, two I ran across, and I couldn't I couldn't turn these down. They came in gray and black, and this was $5.99. It had some really super cute slippers. I can't take it all the way out. Well, I can because I want to take it out of the box anyway, so I'm just going to show you. These are cute slippers. Um, this one here, I think it's a, this is size 12, 11, 12. So, I mean, cute slippers, can't beat it. I didn't want to wait around to after uh, Christmas and I may not get as much as I wanted. And then I'll be cramming for time. Um, even though I know we have still 30, what, 45 days after then at least. I don't want to cram for time. I feel like the more I make now, the more I can make later. <laughs> Y'all know about that. So, anyway, um... I'm trying to see is anything else I want to show you that was kind of me. I was really surprised to get. I did get a couple more other things, but I didn't bring them here into the, my work area. But I will share them with you at a later time. And also, too, I did get the candles for the $9.90. I think it was $9.95 candles. I bought quite a bit of those because you can just put that with a candle and maybe um, a nice bottle of wine and... Um, you know, something a little bit romantic, you know, get the room smelling good, two glasses of wine, um, a bottle of wine with it. Um, I think that would be really, really nice. You know, you could sell that as a set alone, not just have to just be a candle and other stuff. You can do a candle with body wash with a loofah. You know, I did get some champagne toast candles that can go with my champagne toast body wash and lotion so i mean you can just mix match it you can do it any kind of way color coordinated uncolor coordinated but it's just something that i just thought i could share with you guys and i was happy to get and i wanted to let you guys know 
that there is a sale going on today with Bath and Body Works again this week. And if you got if you got your cash, get out there and get it, guys. <laughs> Cause there are people out there that's getting it today. And Miss Lynn was one of them. So let's get started. I'm sorry I'm all over the place on the camera today, but I'm trying to put some of this stuff up so I can clear my way. Let's talk about this baby basket here, what I did so far with it. Here it is. It's a um, it's just a white regular basket. Miss Lynn at the bottom, she did like a uh a pink trim with it um she also too she took it and she stuffed it with her um her little stuff at the bottom that um her little construction work at the bottom she took some tissue paper and put it on top you know how we do it inside of it i went on and i stuffed my um pampers you know babies grow so fast it's gonna be a newborn baby so i didn't get the newborn but i did get the size one got some huggy pampers to go in there already and then um in the front, I decorated and put, it's a girl, because it's going to be a girl baby. And I thought it would be cute to add that to the basket to can make it look a little bit more personal for the mom and the baby, of course. Okay, the things, the items that I have to go in the basket. Um, I have some, um, some bath time lotion by Fisher Price. It says hello. It's also some wash to go in there also too. Also, too, I have the shampoo, the Hello Bath Time shampoo to go in there. And I have a, a care for baby set, which is the brush, the comb, the little um syringe, the nose syringe, the fingernail clips, and also a medicator um, a, um syringe. So, you know, a lot of people don't think of that. And she's going to be a new mom, first time mom. So I thought this would be cute to add to the basket as well. I got some Huggy Wipes to go in the basket. I bought some teeth and ring. These babies come out teething. They come out with two or three teeth already. <laughs> so I got some teeth and rings for the baby. Um, and also, too, I got some little rattles. They don't make these kind anymore. They were kind of, I don't see them as much as you see the cloth rattles now. But I thought this would be cute because the, I'm trying to keep a little bit of Disney thing going on with the baby. So, also, too, I purchased the bottles, the Minnie Mouse bottles to go with them. I already took them out the container. Um, I did get a binky for the baby. The baby has a little binky. If you don't know what that is, it's a pacifier. I did get that for the baby. And also, too, I bought the little binky. The little baby, um, it's like a little water toy. It's called a bath sponge. The little baby can put in the bathtub. Um, when she has her first bath, I try to think a little bit of a little bit important things uh, for the mom. You know, she's a first time mom, like I said. Um, also, too, I just had to get one of a kind. This little outfit, isn't this cute, guys? This is adorable. I think this is zero to to three months. It's got the little pants to go to it. So what I say, I probably with this, I take it and first I was gonna try to maybe put like a cardboard in it and kind of get it to stand up in the basket. And I may kind of do that. We're going to see if I have enough room because I do have a lot of items to go in this basket with such a small basket. Also too, I got her some little booties to go on her feet, you know, some little pink. It kind of did the mini mouse colors, the pink and the black. I thought this would be cute too as well. It's a six piece with the um head the headband set along with the socks. These are like booty socks to go with it. All this stuff came from Burlington. Um, I'm, I'm a big Burlington shopper and I think you guys know that from my previous videos. I do like to purchase things more from Burlington. You get them at a good price and get good good merchandise. Okay, also too, I got this book. It's for, um, it's a healthy child, healthy world. It kind of tells the mom, you know, different things to do as raising her first baby. I thought this would be cute for to go in the basket. All right, so um, we're gonna see can we put all this in here? And Miss Lynn already made the bow. I put two rattles. Uh oh, oh yeah, that just something fell on the floor. I put two rattles in there inside of there, and I kind of fixed it up. And we're gonna puff it up a little bit and and, and redo it. <laughs> it's been laying around the house. I actually did this bow maybe about a week ago, and I've been procrastinating. Miss Lynn had some other things going on and. Hadn't been feeling well, so 
I just now say, well, you know what? It's time to get this basket. This baby's going to be here. She's supposed to be born in December. So it's it's time to get this basket up and and uh, <laughs> to the mom. <laughs> made it. Go to the mom. <laughs> but anyway, I, I made this and I put some, um, I did like my regular bow I normally do. And I added a couple, like four strands to, to match with the bow. That's what I did and put a twist tie on the back. So anyway, um... Let's get started. I'm going to try to bring this down a little bit so you guys can see it. Miss Lynn is a talky boo. All right, so here we go. All right, let's bring it down a little bit more. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're probably going to start. Miss Lynn need to put on her glasses. <laughs> you know, Miss Lynn need to have her glasses on so I can see everything and then I won't be screwing stuff up. Okay, so we have, let's see what we're going to start with. We got the book here. I think I'm going to put the book in the back part. Um, kind of put it back here in the back. Give some, some found, uh, something a little bit stable for the, um, for the basket. And a lot of this stuff I didn't want to take out of the containers because, you know, I want the, the mom to be able to keep up knowing that this is brand new stuff. It's nothing that's been just given away or or I had given it to somebody. I want her to know that it was specially just for her. You know, I know when I was a first time mom, I wanted everything new for my baby. My first baby, eh, she had to have everything new. <laughs> so, you know, nowadays, I don't know how parents are, but I was the same way even with my when my granddaughter was born. Everything had to be new. So, and when someone give me something, you know, People did give me things that wasn't new, but um, that was okay too. But when I purchased stuff, it was new. Or, you know, close family gave me stuff. It was brand new. So, and not saying anything bad about getting used things because those things are, they're good too. Don't get me wrong because some used things, those babies don't stay in those things very long. So, you know, the passing to them, they still look brand new, a lot of that stuff. But, however, when I'm making a basket for someone I think that's really, really um, nice to be important, you know, important for them to feel that this was nothing um, used. Okay, I'm going to add the socks and the um, the ribbon headbands here. I think that'll be cute. That kind of gives me the foundation part of the back of the book and the, the teeth and rings. So I thought that would be cute. All right, so I'm going to add that. All right, we got this, and then we also have the Huggies. Now, with the Huggies, we're going to have to think about this. <laughs> I probably should have put that on top of the Pampers, but it's okay. We'll think. We'll think. Miss Lynn got it. We'll, well, let's see. We're going to work with it. But sometimes you you got to, um, sometimes you have to actually, you know, work with things that don't come out right away. So that's why you don't want to be so quick to, to glue stick and, and put things down you have to um kind of see that that vision before you actually start putting things together so that's what we're doing now so it probably change again <laughs> so anyway so we, this is the way we're gonna try to do it let's see can i stick that in here i want the mom to at least see everything that she have and if she can't see it she'll see it when she open up the container the basket so that's that's nice too but there'd be some more surprises in there for her so let's see we're gonna add that what you guys think about right there let's see well those shoes are so cute i want to kind of display them on the basket so let's push that down a little bit let's see can i push that down a little bit let's see all right um all right we have the i think of the shampoo and then I have the body wash. I'm going to put that probably here. Let's sit it there. Let's put the body wash there. And then we're going to put the lotion in the middle. Let's do it like this. We're going to line it up and make it look real neat. All right. Let's do it just like that. Let's see how that works. Let's see. Okay. We'll get that together in a minute. Okay, we have the bottles. I think I'm going to have room, guys. All right, let's see. We can put the bottles in here. 
she have her bottles. And I could have kept them in the pack, but the pack, I did not. I couldn't get the price off of it. That was one of the reasons why I did not um, keep them in the pack because I could not. So I decided to do it that way. We could put that there. I'm going to put some, some um, shred right there. Right there. Put that there. And that there. And then I may just take this and just put. Nope. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's do it like this. I think that'll be cute. Just like that. See? You see, Miss Miss Lynn? She is rearranging again. So I mean it happens. Let's see. We're just trying to see what this is going to look like. And I'm going to take a break here and I'm going to wrap it. And we're going to come back to it because I'm not going to take, I'm already running to 20 minutes on this video. Now the outfit, I think I'm just going to kind of sit it in here. I may get like a little board or something to prop, prop it up. To kind of make it sit up a little bit more. And then also too, I'm going to put... Minnie Mouse. This is baby Minnie. I'm going to put her probably there. So, once we tape it, it's not going to fall out. But that's how it's going to be. And then I'm going to add a little bit of um, props inside here to kind of dress it up a little bit. And you will see all that. We'll, we'll do all that. <laughs> we'll do all that when I get everything secure. So, let's do that part first, okay? Let's start securing stuff because it's just everything is starting to fall apart. Before you know, it's all going to be on the floor. <laughs> so let's just do this part here. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and put that. I'm going to glue, not glue, but tape. I'm not going to put much tape on this. And... I'm just kind of securing and taping everything down. I use the um, the invisible tape to those who are new to my channel. And you can get that at Dollar General. I'm sure at any store, just as long as it say invisible on there. And that keeps people, they can't see what's actually has tape to the to the products that's in the basket, the merchandise. So, I'm trying to get everything to stand up. Everything. And I put much on there. And then my bottles that's falling. There's <laughs> three of them. So, let me get the, the wash and the shampoo straighten up here. Let's get this together. And the soap, the lotion, all that together. I think I'm going to take this and get a little cardboard box and and put that in there so it can kind of sit up her little outfit. And then I'm going to take these um, bottles. I'm going to kind of do like I did with the lotion and the soap. I'll put a little bit more tape on there. A little bit more heavier. I'm going to put it probably on the back end of the bottles. Because that part is not going to be seen in the basket. And y'all will see it in a minute. Kind of keep them together. I'm not going to put much tape. You know, Miss Lynn get carried away with the tape. I'm probably the only basket designer out there that really use a lot of tape. <laughs> Which is not good. So I'm trying to get better at that. Um... I'm really trying to get better at that. I'm going to push this so you guys can see what I'm doing. 
I'm really trying to get better. Use less tape and glue dots. People say glue dots. Glue dots do not really work for me. I don't know if it's the brand that I'm using or what. But I put it on some glue dots and in about a few minutes, as when I finish with that basket, them dots come loose. <laughs> I do better with tape. So that's why Miss Lynn used a lot of tape because. In her videos, uh, when she been doing her creating her baskets, I do a lot of tape. I I really work better with tape, and I just need to work with the less tape. And I'm I am getting better with that because you don't want to be able to peel the stuff off the merchandise. So I'm going to keep this on here so she'll know this is for bath time. I'm going to keep that on there. But this is the front of the basket. I think it came out super cute. And I like it. <laughs> I really like it. It's really, really cute. I'm going to take some um, extra shred, put it on to the side so it won't be seen where the little um, handles are at. And then I'm going to take it, put it on the other side. Yeah. This is really cute. I think it came out really, really cute. You guys, that is an awesome job. I am very, very happy the way we did that. I also, too, have some little ducks. I think I'm going to put the ducks up here up top. Just little props to go on the basket. Um, I may throw a little a rattle because I do have the rattle that's on the... Um, on the the bow so i may throw in a little rattle put the ducks up there hey <laughs> and that's about it we're gonna uh, i'm gonna take a break miss lynn is gonna wrap this basket because that's going to take more time we run into almost 27 minutes in this video i have taken too much of your time and then we're gonna we're gonna come right back and you're gonna see how this basket turned out okay all right be right back <laughs> okay guys we're back the basket is complete and i am super excited i um, can't wait to show you guys i did do the um outfit i put a little board in and i'll show you in a few seconds um how i did it um it's very simple but i put the little board up on it to kind of get it to stand up a little bit but this is the back of the basket it came out really cute you see the ducks from the back part okay and then we turn it around here's the front isn't that adorable that is so and I got the outfit to stand up. So what I did, I got a little board. You know, like the end of your, um, the end of your, what kind of board I can say? Uh, cardboard boxes. I take these and cut them off. So what I did, I took the outfit, I took the pants and I put it here. And I put the outfit there. And I just kind of took it and tuck it in. Tuck it in real nice and neat. You can see on the sides. Can kind of see the board there, but that doesn't really matter too much. And I, I didn't think about it to look back there, but I could have covered that up maybe with some tissue paper or something like that. But um, anyway, that's the board and it's standing up. It kind of prop, propped up on the, let's see so you can see. See on the side right there, I kind of got it and I pinned it up with a little bit of tape, not much at all. But it came out really, really cute. I am very, very happy with this um, baby girl basket. Um, the bow was very unique. It was easy to make. Maybe one day we'll make one and you'll see how Miss Lynn did it. It's very simple. Just like regular, making your regular bow and you just add your, your strips, cutting out four strips and kind of adding it into your bow. Very super easy. But anyway, I am very, very happy the way this basket came out and I'm sure you guys are proud of it too. And I just want to um, say this. If you're new to my channel and you like this type of content that I'm sharing with you guys, um, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Miss Lynn wants to know what are you waiting for? I am asking you to hit that subscription button at the bottom and hit the bell because that bell will notify you when Miss Lynn upload another video. I want you guys to continue to have a happy holidays and I will be putting out plenty, plenty more videos because it's about to be basket season. And I'm super excited, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully, you can watch Miss Lynn do baskets. I'm going to be probably doing a little bit more shorts 
videos and um and uh, as well as my regular videos okay enough of your time thank you for watching hit that um like button at the bottom so you can keep get my um my videos out there into the anorhythm and i really appreciate you guys my subscribers i love you guys so much my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel may god bless you until the next video